How to use environment variable in Power App Canvas app? Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. In this video, you will learn how to use environment variable in your Power App Canvas app. Now, to do this, you need to learn three things. First, you need to understand how to build environment variable. Second thing how to use environment variable in power app canvas app and the third thing how to change the value of environment variable while importing solution into your environment now before jumping ahead uh, or before actually developing the application let me show you the end result what you are going to do so let me run this app and also let me run this app now this two different tab run two application to power app canvas app now if you closely look at to the application the structure of the application is same what is the change in that so here you can see in power app the header and footer contain the company name and its contact number and here also in this power app header and footer contain company name and its phone number but here the header data is different and the footer data is different and here also header data is different and footer data is different so i am assigning this value in header and footer using environment variable now this app is in my test demo environment and this app is in my krupali gusa environment so while importing this app to in this environment i change this to value so automatically your application will show the value which i gave when i am importing the value so this thing you are going to learn in this video so what you need to do first let me close this app and come to my uh, environment so let me go back first and i am creating a solution remember when you are creating environment variable when you are creating an application and when you are planning to import or export that application always create that application under the solution i have already created a video on what is solution what is environment variable how to use environment variable and what is the meaning of environment so this basic video i have already created you can click on the i icon to see this video now if you are seeing this video and if you don't know about anything uh, like power app environment so my advice is to see this video first and then see this part 2 okay so let me create a solution first make sure whatever you are going to create it should be in a same environment right now so i'm creating a solution and i'm creating a solution name is that power app solution okay you can give any name always give a meaningful name to the solution and select the publisher of the solution that is cds publisher by default and version number it will give and let me create the solution once you create a solution you need to create power app in that we want to create a power app which have this header and this footer okay so i'm going to create this power app from the beginning and i advise you to create canvas app so let me go to app go to new app and click on the canvas app and here uh, give the name of the canvas app power app for environment variable and i'm selecting this right now i'm selecting a phone format okay so it will take some time to create it okay now then go to the settings and you need to switch on the setting that is uh automatically create environment variable when adding data source okay so a full page refresh is needed to apply the changes save your app before refresh so let me switch on this and click on close save that application and once the application is saved they said that you need to refresh this entire page so wait until it's saved 
okay so it saved successfully let me refresh it so let me do the override okay now before making a hit you need to make sure that the application which you have created that is power app for ev it should be in a same solution it is always advisable to check it twice okay before going ahead okay let me go to the solution okay that is power app solution one here you can see the app so click and go to edit and then open the app okay now let me create a header and footer for that so let me create first header and footer so let me rename this page one okay and let me add the header that is text label here this is the footer and this is the header let me change the font size to 30 and here also the font size i am selecting that is uh, 20 and let me align it to left and let me align it to center and let me give the company name let's say here right now i'm taking writing as a text we will give the company name and company contact number by uh, environment variable okay so i'm just formatting it uh, properly so let me do the formatting and this is also a formatting and the font size font color i should keep it as a white so white color font okay then save now what you need to do you need to go to the solution again okay so let me uh, write okay so first let me go back again and let me go to back to the solution and let me open that solution again so you know i am opening it in two tabs so simultaneously i can show you what i am doing okay so let me go to the power app solution okay and here this time i am opening the um, editing the app okay so to create an environment variable you need to click on new and then you need to click on more and then you need to select the environment variable then you need to give the name of the variable that is let's say company name okay now here when you uh, write the uh, variable name i am giving ev as a prefix so i can easily identify that uh, this is the environment variable and then you can give the data type uh, and you can select the data type from that so i am selecting text data type and i am giving the default value let's say no how and new value i'm keeping it as a let's say know how save and then when i click on save environment variable will be created just wait for a minute and just to refresh this okay now here you can see that so either you need to refresh if you are not able to see or you need to at least wait for one minute so here this is my variable name okay now i have created a variable name for the company name and I need to create another variable for storing the contact number of the company. So let me create another variable more. And here, let's say create environment variable. And here, environment variable for company uh, contact number. And here, I'm selecting the text data type and I'm writing dummy contact number. Okay. And here in new value also, I'm selecting, uh, I'm writing the same number and click on save so your second environment variable is also created now we want to add that variable in our data source or we can say we want to give the value of that variable in our power app so how can we do that so you need to click on data source click on add data and here you need to search for environment so once you search for environment, three uh, things you will able to see. Environment, environment variable definition and environment values. So we need a values. So we need to select that environment variable values. Okay. So it will take some time to add that. 
So once you add it, your data uh, is added of environment variable. Now what we need to do here, we need to select or we need to write the uh, function that will take the values which is there in that variable and display here. So what I need to do. So let me add and display it in a gallery control. So you will be able to see what environment variable is containing. And here, this time I'm giving the value that. So now see, you will be able to see this value that sample image created on a schema. So let's say I want uh, to display the value uh, let's say schema name so this is the name of that and here i want to display what is actual value so here you can see know how this is the so these are some environment variable which is created now i want this know how environment variable and this is the contact number so i want only this two value okay so there are several environment variable which is created once you create an app okay so i don't want this all environment value so let me delete that and i want a specific value of a company name and contact number so how can i do that so for that you need to use a lookup function so lookup function what it will do let me copy this and paste it here now what i want to do actually I need to write a lookup function then inside that I need to use environment variable values then from environment variable values there are several uh, uh, schemas are there which contain the definition which contain the display name. Now see when you create an environment you will be able to see there is a display name there is a default value we want to take and this things. So what I need to do, I need to select the data source name. So that is environment variable. Now from that, I want to select the environment variable definition dot display name. So this display name I want and this display name you need to copy from that. So let's say here EV company name. So let me copy this name and paste it make sure that you do not make spelling mistake otherwise it will generate an error okay or it will not display anything so display name equal to whatever value you give to that variable and then you need to write dot value let me save and you will be able to see whatever the value is there now here you want to uh, display the contact number so once again you need to write a lookup lookup then you need to write the environment variable values now from the values you want a definition dot you want to display name so let's say display name this time is a contact number so how you can copy that let me go to edit and copy this value and here paste it in a double quotation and then complete the bracket and then you want value so here you will able to display the contact number now contact number that this is not a random number so i want to display a contact number that contact number then okay so this way contact number will be displayed and company name will be displayed so let me save that application okay now here i'm just displaying a random value or i'm not displaying anything because i want to show you the uh, this value that how you can change this value dynamically when you are importing the solution so this is generally a test app we can say so i'm generally displaying the text that is ev variable dev okay and here know how and contact number is displayed now what I need to do, I need to save that app and then I need to publish this app. I want to export that app uh, into one other environment. Okay, so the app uh, saved successfully, it published successfully. Then what I need to do, before exporting this, I need to remove the current value. It is giving a warning sign. Why? Because if you keep a current value, then it will display a same value when you are importing that. But I, I want to give a value at the time of importing. So let me remove this. 
or what you can say no need to do like that uh, you need to click on this and remove this so remove object okay the current value was removed from the solution and but it can be added back in. so we will save that value this thing and also we will do the same thing here in edit okay let me remove the object okay so it's done now what i need to do i need to go back to the solution and open that solution and here you can see that this solution contain one app and two environment variable okay so what i need to do let me close this app or it's okay if it is open then i need to go back to the solution select that solution and i need to click on export so this too i exported previously so it is showing that sign so let me remove it select that and export solution and click on publish remember you are exporting from the current environment so my current environment is Drupal. okay so it's published then you click on the export and this time i'm selecting unmanage you can select manage solution and you can select unmanage but i'm selecting unmanage solution because we are just preparing a demo but in real life situation if you are exporting in a company and thing don't give edit chance or don't give edit rights to the person who is testing or uh, who is working uh, or who is publishing the app okay so i'm selecting unmanage and export so now it's preparing for export wait okay now it's exported successfully you can click download that solution so it will be downloaded now what you need to do you need to import that solution in your other environment so let me select the other environment which i have already created if you do not have other environment you need to create that environment and then you can uh, import that and then you need to import solution select the browse and go for download then you need to select the all files and the name of the file is let's say let me check it what was the name um, i think the name of the file is power app power app solution this one and this is the zip file okay and click on the next and here you can see this is the name of the solution this is type unmanaged and what is the number and all these things and click on next now see in this power app the values are this i want to change when i'm importing solution now same power app i'm deploying for other company so let's say that company name or uh, phone number is i'm entering a random phone number then uh, company name i'm selecting abc company so let me write a dummy company name let's say dell i'm writing dell okay and let me select the import so it is importing the solution you can see that okay i that solution i already imported okay and uh, this is exported successfully two messages are showing so don't be confused it is importing the solution okay now our solution is imported successfully let me open that solution and here let me edit the app now here you can see when i use the application same application in my environment that is Drupali environment it is showing the company name knowhow and the contact number but when i import that solution and when i run that app uh, you can see the name and the contact number of the uh, company which i have written at the time of importing the solution so this way you can change the header and footer value using environment variable in power app canvas app so i hope you understand this thank you for choosing knowhow academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate through the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out to us stay curious and keep learning